back to the speech again. Megan's speech to the school of the Immaculate Heart, where people were questioning whether she had permission. It seems that she didn't have permission to make that speech. So if it was genuine and from the heart, focusing outwards, then great, it would have been a good thing. It didn't need to be a political rally cry for girls about to embark on adulthood. It didn't need to be a political promotional speech to gain votes for a particular party. It didn't need to be promoting the speaker herself. Well, the latest is that Megan did not have permission to do that. She did step on someone else's toes. We thought it was strange that the school's website said nothing about Megan's heartfelt speech. If it had impacted the girls, and also much of the viewing public, then it was to be expected that it would at least get a mention on their website or some sort of thanks given to Megan. But there's been nothing. Total silence. Until now. The actual person who has been chosen to speak for Immaculate Hearts Class of 2020 has been announced. The commencement speaker is their long-time theology instructor. It's only right and the most appropriate choice that she was chosen, and as the school is Catholic, then I, I would think that they might be wanting a Catholic to make the speech. The fact that Megan has changed her religion at least twice since leaving the school might not have gone down well with the principal, who might want someone more stable and influential in the ways of the teachings of the school. So the commencement speaker is Christine Knudsen. Immaculate Heart's long-time theology instructor and chair of the theology department. The class speaker is graduating senior Lola Dutcher, and she will represent the 118-member class. How sad that the class speaker Lola Dutcher has had Megan putting out her unauthorised political rally cry before she gives her speech of encouragement to her class. Hopefully Megan's will stand out now as being how not to do it. It's also noticeable that Megan was only briefly referred to on their website at the time of her engagement. Nothing since. It's been said that Megan was desperately waiting for the approval of her speech from the school, just a little recognition and there has been nothing. Now this has been announced, it's a big slapdown for her. So it was another case of gatecrashing something. Um, not being invited, just making a speech, and wasn't a well-prepared speech, in many people's opinions, and um, just a rally cry for the girls. It seems that by ignoring Megan that they are disapproving of her speech. So what with her anger and the alleged threats of divorce because Harry is enjoying his good mate's company, things are not going the way that Megan planned, it seems. The singer Adele is lovely. Although some years ago she confessed to liking Prince Harry, I feel that she and Harry would probably be enjoying a pint and a laugh and harmless British banter. Something up with my banter, chat. Which would probably make Meghan feel left out. But as Meghan has hung on to her pal Marcus from the start of her relationship with Harry, she cannot criticise. She even hung out with him in New York for her baby shower. It has been alleged that Marcus has, or is, living with them, so Meghan should have no complaints about Harry having a few drinks with their neighbour, who is friends with them both. Adele was very welcoming and friendly to both Meghan and Harry, and recommended a nursery for Archie, and also places to walk. She also offered to help Meghan deal with the paparazzi. Adele is open, self-confessed as emotional after a few drinks, and really blunt. I cannot imagine that she has not yet offended Meghan. Her video of her carpool with James with James Corbin shows how authentic she is. Yes, she's part of the Hollywood set, but she's also close to her British roots. She is a good person for Harry to hang out with. She would get him laughing again. Yes, he might have a few drinks, but he could be himself. She might also be able to give him good advice or a listening ear. Adele could be a lifeline for Harry at this time. I also cannot see her being intimidated by Meghan. Some are saying that she and Harry might have a thing going. I don't think so. Well, not at this time. I think she is the female friend that Harry needs right now. 
attractive female company which might make him feel attractive again and bring back his sense of humour and share genuine reminiscing about the UK. Yes, Harry needs this. Adele could be better than therapy. A dose of reality, a dose of honesty, uncomplicated and fun. What do you think? Let me have your comments and please subscribe. Ding my bell for more alerts. Like if you like the video and share. Bye.